It's a beautiful day here at the big ballpark, and this one should be a dandy. The defending champion, St. Louis Browns, against the New York Yankees. Leading off with the Brownies today and playing left field is Phil Canzoni. Many of us have expected to see Pete Gray, but Gray hasn't been hitting, and Canzoni has. So Canzoni gets the nod. Lou Finney will bat second. Batting third in center field, Milt Burns. In the cleanup spot, the outstanding shortstop, Vern Stevens. It's so big. <laughs> oh, wonder the Aussies clean the game here. took it all last season but the Yankees well they're bound and determined this time around not to let that happen again we're in the bottom of the fifth all tied at five the Yanks have two on with two outs and Oscar Grimes stepping in to face Hollingsworth Grimes batting 260 already has a double on the day Hollingsworth he's been struggling he checks the runners here's the pitch Grimes drills in hard to left field it is hit a ton Canzoni on a dead run oh he makes a diving catch Wait, ju wait just a minute. Canzoni is down and may have hurt himself on the play. Just how badly remains to be seen. The question now is, will Phil Canzoni be able to continue in this ball game? The Browns trainer is out checking on Canzoni. Oh, my. It looks like that'll be all for him today. So with the injury to Canzoni, it looks like we're all going to get a chance to see the man many people at Yankee Stadium came out hoping to see, Pete Gray. There we go. We're in the top of the seventh inning. These teams are still locked up in a 5-5 tie. The Browns have two aboard with nobody out, and Pete Gray heading to the on-deck circle. This will be Gray's first at bat since he replaced Phil Canzoni in the top of the sixth. What an important game for the defending American League champs who desperately need a win today if they have any hopes at all of staying in the pennant hunt. Here's Pete Gray to face Walter Monk Dubiel. The Browns with runners at first and third. Duviel comes to the set, checks his runners. Here's the pitch. Gray lines a single to center field. Here comes Mancuso with the tie-breaking run. And the Browns take the lead on an RBI single to center by Gray. St. Louis still has runners in the corners as Milt Burns steps to the plate. Burns still looking for his first hit of the afternoon. Looks down to the coaching box to check the sign. Duviel. Into the stretch. Gray with a walking lead off first. And there he goes. Robinson's throw to second base is not in time. And the Browns have now moved runners to second and third. Dubiel is in a jam. Here's the no ball one strike pitch to Burns. Burns shoots a line in the right. Gutteridge will score easily. Here comes Gray. Martin's throw to the plate. It is cut off. And the Browns move out to an 8 5 lead. Untimely hitting and the speed of Pete Gray. That's the boy, Pete! That's the boy! That's the boy! The bases are loaded with Yankees here in the bottom of the ninth. They've already pushed one run across. They trail by two. Two outs now. The Yanks here's Big Aaron Robinson facing Holcomb on in relief. Holcomb from a full line. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Fastball in the dirt. Ball two. Boy, Robinson has power. He could have this thing with one swing, and everybody in Yankee Stadium knows it. Holcomb is ready. The 2 1 pitch on the way. Oh, sweet frenzy. Robinson gets it a long way to left field. This ball has home run distance written all over it and should put this one on the wind bottom of the Yankees. Way racing back, but he's running out of room. This ball is going, going, and it's cut. Here at the barrier by Pete Gray. How about that catch? The Browns win at 8 6, and oh, what a day this has been for Pete Gray.
In 1958, Nelson Geary Jr. was named to the San Fernando Valley All-League Baseball Team. Pete Gray's glove is now in the Baseball Hall of Fame, Cooperstown, New York.